Hi everybody, Jacob here. Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to do a quick review uh, on Jeremy Scott, on a comparison review between uh, something I've gotten my hands on lately, which is a comparison, well, which is the sample version of the Jeremy Scott uh, fur bones from the Spring Summer 15 collection. This is how these babies look like. Very furry and fluffy. This is the retail version of them. You've got your Jeremy Scott logo there. You got this furry, furry, ginormous, furry, fluffy tongue, and you have the tree foil coming out there. <clears throat> For whoever hasn't yet and wishes to, uh, can check out my review on these babies. Um, also an on-feet on on video as well as a review of the shoe. Now, let's see how the sample looked like. And this is another example of how samples are so different sometimes from the actual retail model. Here it comes. Very different. I mean, there are similarities, but it's very different. The overall color of the leather here and here is uh, slightly different. This is more mustardy yellow. This is a more light yellow. And the biggest difference is, of course, the tongue. Here we have this fluffy fur going on, and here we have just a short acrylic cut very dark yellow toned faux fur, very kind of tricky. And uh, we, we, we have the white trefoil with the three yellow stripes. That should be the same as here, except this yellow is more intense than these stripes here, they're more orangey kind of. The bones are in both cases uh, rubber. They're bendable on both shoes. The bottom of the shoe is the same on both of them. That did not change. An important factor to add to the entire discussion about uh, comparisons, you know, what are samples? Samples, I've said that in another video of mine, but, uh, you know, they're used by a company months in advance to showcase what will be presented so the buyers can check it out, see, you know, if they like it or not, order it for the stores what have you, what not. Usually samples are going to have tags on them that state uh, uh, this will be different, we're going to add real fur, we're going to add bigger fur, we're going to change this color, you know. Companies try to make samples that are as close as possible to the actual retail version so that buyers don't have to think too much about how changes are going to happen because the more changes are going to happen to a product and the more text there is to read for a buyer and the less the buyer really wants to buy the shoe actually or whatever product it may be. So the trick is to kind of balance it out pretty well, get the samples done on time, get them as close as possible to the actual retail version. And then the samples also are used for PR purposes, you know, photographs, photo shoots for magazines, uh, look books, customer brochures. So, it, you know, samples are very important. They're not prototypes. Prototypes are made before the samples, but, uh, or mock-ups for that matter. Um, samples, you know, are quite important in a way. They're not always as sturdy and quality-wise as good as the actual retail products. Sometimes they are, sometimes they're not. So that's a little quick addition of information, a little snippet of information that you might want to know. <laughs> okay, and back to the other video. I mean, back to the same video again. That's just a classic, so no reason for that to change. Uh, as well as the front part and the stripe, the Jeremy Scott logo is the same. The laces are the same. The biggest difference, indeed, even even the leopard um, fabric used for the fabric used with the leopard print is the same, same quality of it. The inside of the shoe, this the brown texture is the same. The brown um, fabric used here is the same. They're both made in Vietnam both the uh, retail version as well as the sample version. And in both cases, we have the Jeremy Scott logo on the inside. You could see the white printed Jeremy Scott logo. It's there on both. So basically, the biggest difference we have here is the actual addition of fur that is kind of falling off from time to time. Uh, that's the biggest difference between these two. So you could see very clearly what is going on here. 
But it's very interesting to see, so just that you know, if you come across something like this online, you're interested in you know, purchasing it and you think it's a fake, it might not be a fake, it might just be a sample, in which case, however, it has to say uh, sample on it. There you have it. You see here, right up there, it says sample. So that's very important to point out. Um, what else? The outside has the Adidas logo. Yep. And everything else is the same. It's basically, you know, mostly about the fur edition. There you go. I hope uh, now we've, we have enriched our knowledge a little bit as far as the Jeremy uh, world of wonderful uh, creations goes. I hope you liked this video. Give me a thumbs up if you did. Leave me comments in the comment section below. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you want to see more. Thanks for watching. Love you. Bye.